you know, the possibility that we would return was always there. I didn't know if a story would materialize that felt it was worth telling, but in this case it did. I might still be a monster, but I'm an evolving monster. It's eight years ago, right? Since, since the show has been off, why is now kind of the, the right time to bring this guy back? I think it has everything to do with how much time has passed and that the story hinges on the relationship between Dexter and his son. And his son is now a full grown young man or um, almost young man. I guess why now the question, the answer is ultimately we had to wait for Harrison to grow up, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> and I think, you know, taking this much time away allows the return to the character feel like a bit of a surprise, but it hasn't been so much time that people have completely like put it so far in their rear view that they don't even remember him. I don't know how to do this. Let's keep his head up. I mean, everything, how to be a father, how to take care of him. How was it for you reconnecting with him, with, with Dexter himself? And also on that same note, how much and what has changed in him since he's moved away? It was a trip. It was really wild. I didn't really know what to expect, but I, I found that uh, once once I showed up and, and we started shooting that he was still very, very much alive. You know, he was still very familiar. He's obviously in a completely different context and has come a long way from where we left him, but he was still very like available to me, which was reassuring and creepy. <laughs> um, the biggest difference is the, the fundamental difference is that in these in these eight years or near decades since we left him, he hasn't killed anybody. He's been abstinent. He's been um, dedicated to this sober life <laughs> and um, has managed it, managed it in his very sort of isolated way. And so, you know, he, he's a guy who's who's dead to himself as far as he's concerned. But um as you can imagine, the cameras are turning back on probably because he's going to come back to life. Many fans didn't really feel they got the proper closure with the ending of the of the series. How do you feel about it? I totally get people's dissatisfaction with the way the show ended because it didn't really end. It just it just sort of left us in this pretty unresolved, uncertain place. And while I thought you know, that it made sense for the character to find himself in that position, you know, and to put himself in this apparent self-imposed exile after all the chaos of the end of the show. Mm. I totally get why it was pretty unsatisfying, if not like infuriating for fans who had spent all this time and, and were longing for something that was, uh, that, you know, answered some questions or tied some things up or, did something that we, the, the, the finale didn't manage to do. But, you know, if nothing else, it did set the stage for, for what we've been up to over the past several months, making this new, this new show. So maybe that's the silver lining. Were you motivated at all to come back to fulfill that fan need, that fan closure? Was that at, at all part or is, uh, it, is this just- Absolutely. Being no, that was absolutely a part of it. You that's know, awesome. I mean, you know, I, I think just as I knew that the show didn't sit that well in its finale with, with viewers, it didn't sit that well with me. I felt like I, I owed it to myself to explore it further if it came up that it made sense and it did and owed it to the character and owed it to the fans for sure.